Let's move on to Zimbabwe now. 10% growth in that country's ITC sector has the potential to grow the country's economy by as much as 3.87%. As CCTV's Farai Mokhtar points out, however, there's been quite a bit of laxity in implementing policies needed to facilitate the sector's growth, and that in turn has limited internet access to a few Zimbabweans in the middle income bracket. Farai is attending the country's inaugural broadband forum, which is expected to propose practical solutions to raising Zimbabwe's internet access. Growth in mobile penetration, now estimated at over 80%, has seen millions of Zimbabweans in both urban and rural settings accessing the internet. The expansion of broadband technology, which optimizes the speed and reliability of the internet, is seen as having an immense impact. It's a great enabler. I think communications and in particular internet and broadband is a great enabler of any industry, of any business. And as we talked about today, by having more penetration and having faster internet, you actually grow the GDP. And that's what we need to do in Zimbabwe. We're coming off a fairly low base. Um, the more we can grow it, the more we can do to grow the, the economy, um, the better. A forum of top thinkers in the ICT sector recently acknowledged this pivotal role, but also bemoaned bottlenecks that are holding it back. The cost of getting fiber optic connections into landlocked Zimbabwe remain high. Calls to have local competitors collaborate and share infrastructure have fallen on deaf ears and the costs for an operating license are exorbitant. The net result? Internet access remains pegged high, limiting its use by the majority of Zimbabweans. Those who do have access present a captive market that businesses can exploit. You're talking 4.5 million people connected to the internet today, and most of that is via mobile. Now, the, the one question that that begs is, what are they consuming? What could they consume? What services um, could local companies provide to those people? ICT experts say the next step in the internet revolution is in the development of local content. A response to this has been a locally designed mobile phone which has locally developed features and applications. Not only should we start providing this content, but we should start building platforms that let users exchange this content, that let users create the content, because that's, at the end of the day, that's the power of the internet. It lets the user be the creator of the content and consumer of the content at the same time. Government is working towards a policy that will promote the development of more local ICT equipment and content. E-commerce, e-learning, e-farming, e-health, the opportunities are virtually limitless of what the internet can allow Zimbabweans to do. The appetite is clearly there. What is required now is for an environment that is conducive for Zimbabweans to leverage the power of the internet. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.